This is the Huawei P Smart, one of the latest budget phones that costs about 250 bucks, but it offers a full screen and all metal design, a dual camera setup, and quite decent specs. My name is Linus with the Techline HD, let's take a look at all the pros and cons of this device. As always, I will leave all the links including camera samples down below the video. The phone ships with all the usual stuff and some extras include a pair of earphones. In terms of the looks, the P-Smart is a modern budget phone because it follows the trend of full screen design by implementing an 18x9 aspect ratio display with thin bezels and slightly curved 2.5D glass. I found this screen to be really good both indoors and outdoors. It's plenty sharp and bright, but it can also go to just 3 nits of brightness to protect your eyes in darkness. The P-Smart is made mostly out of metal and the build quality is just excellent. It's really comfortable to hold the phone in one hand due to rounded edges on the back and narrow footprint. However, it feels that the top and bottom parts are made of plastic. Another caveat is the phone still uses a micro USB port for charging, not the USB Type-C. One of the highlights is the dual camera system that allows you to take pictures with bokeh effect. Now a few features as quickly as possible. The fingerprint scanner is super fast and reliable, there is an 8 megapixel selfie shooter, a notification LED light, a hybrid dual SIM and micro SD card slot, a headset jack that provides pretty good sound quality, and finally, the loudspeaker sounds quite good considering the price of the phone. Some people in the YouTube comments blame me for testing the phone's gaming performance while playing old 3D games. Here is a 4-year-old Asphalt 8. Guess what, there are quite a few skipped frames and a bit of stutter if you play this game on the very highest graphics settings. That means that you can still play most of the 3D titles on this phone, but it's definitely not designed for hardcore gamers out there, unless you like playing on reduced graphics settings. You may see a bit of stutter in newer titles like Injustice 2, but that's expected considering the price of the phone. Other games like Shadow Fight 3 run just fine, and I didn't notice any overheating issues. The P-Smart ships with Android 8 out of the box, but as usual to Huawei phones, we have the EMUI built on top of it. In fact, my phone runs on an early software built or in a better mode. That may be the reason why I couldn't install some important benchmark apps like Antutu or Geekbench 4. Also, I could not set the Google keyboard as a default, which was quite frustrating to me. Hopefully, these issues will be fixed in the final retail unit. On a positive note, the phone is usually fast and responsive on a daily basis, despite that I installed a bunch of apps. There is a ton of features to play with, just to name a few, you can adjust display settings or choose a more traditional home screen style with the app drawer. You can also open up a notification panel using a fingerprint gesture, customize the navigation bar, or use the split screen mode to run two apps side by side. Overall, the EMUI has grown on me over the time and I like using it, despite a little bit cartoonish look. Stock camera app can take pictures quite fast. There are quite a few shooting modes including a pro photo and pro video mode. There are also a portrait and wide aperture modes that allow you to utilize that secondary sensor. You can also adjust the focus point after you take the image. I like the overall image quality using those modes as objects are separated from the background nicely with just minimal artifacts. Keep in mind, however, that you will achieve the best results in good lighting. If you tend to take pictures using auto mode, you will be pleased with the results. Photos come out sharp and detailed, and the colors are usually reproduced accurately. Low light camera performance is not impressive, but it's not bad considering the price of the phone. Selfies usually look pretty good, unless you overuse that beauty effect like I did. 
there is also a selfie portrait mode which may not be as good as the main cameras but you may still be able to take nice looking pictures for social media. Finally, the screen flash feature does a decent job when taking selfies in pitch dark environment. 1080p is the maximum resolution this phone can shoot videos. I like the overall quality of video as the footage is quite detailed and sharp. Also, the continuous autofocus feature works really well. Selfie camera can shoot videos only in 720p. Even though the footage is not the sharpest out there, it looks okay. Also, sound recording quality is really good. So I'm not using any civilization tools whatsoever. And today is a quite a cloudy day, as always. Not the darkest day of the year, but still it's winter still. So. In terms of connectivity, I found the call quality and signal reception to be good. I also like that the GPS works fine, I didn't have any issues with Wi-Fi, and finally, there are quite a few sensors, including a gyroscope, meaning that you can use this phone with VR headsets or watch 360 videos. Battery life on the Huawei P Smart is very good, at least under my usage. I was able to get about 7 hours of screen on time, but as always, your mileage may vary. However, it takes over 2 hours to fully charge the phone. The Huawei P Smart offers quite a lot for a relatively low price. I love its design, great build quality, nice and sharp display, Android 8 out of the box, good cameras, and great battery life. I also love that the basic stuff like fingerprint scanner works well, the loudspeaker is decent, and there is a notification LED light. Since I have a phone with an early software build, there are some issues in the UI but I'm sure they will be fixed with the future software updates. What will not be improved, however, is the overall gaming experience if you plan to play the latest 3D titles on the very highest graphics settings. Other than that, I really like the P-Smart for a lot of reasons. The phone's pros easily outweigh the cons, and I think it's a solid budget offering by Huawei. That's why I can recommend it. But what do you guys think about this phone? Drop me a comment down below, and also like the video if you liked it, and please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. It was Linus, thank you for watching, and see you soon.